So today we're going to look at the effect of pH on catalase activity. So, Benedict, can you tell me what you're putting into this measuring cylinder, please? Uh, well, we have 5 grams of potatoes, which contain our catalase. We have 20 centimeters cube of pH 9 buffer and one drop of uh, fairy liquid. Good man. Okay, so can you put the three items there into the measuring cylinder, please? So you're putting in the, the 5 grams of the potato containing our enzyme, the catalase. Excellent. And you've chopped it up finely so that it can react completely with the substrate once we add it. Very good. The 20 mils of the pH 9 buffer, which you're adding using the syringe. Excellent. Perfect, well done. And now you're going to add the one drop of the washing up liquid. Lovely. Now, um, Dylan, in that boiling shape here that you're holding inside in the water bath, uh, what's, what does it contain? Hydrogen peroxide. Very good, excellent. Now, Ushin, what temperature is our water bath at? Uh, 25 degrees Celsius. Good. And why do we have it at 25 degrees Celsius? Because uh, that's the best temperature the enzyme works at. Yeah, excellent for plants, yeah. Because um, we're using a plant potato. Wonderful. And Jeremy, what did we say our substrate is? Hydrogen peroxide. Excellent, good lad, yeah. So what we're going to react now is we're going to add the hydrogen peroxide into the measuring cylinder. We're going to record the volume immediately. And then we will leave it for two minutes. And then we record the final volume. And the amount of foam that's formed will indicate to us how well the enzyme works at pH 9. Okay, so Dylan, if you add in the hydrogen peroxide there, please. Good lad. Excellent. And Benedict, you're starting the stopwatch there and you're recording the volume. Okay, what was the volume at the start, Benedict? 30 centimetres cubed. Okay, so we'll have a look now after two minutes and see what it is. 